Hi, my name is Pentomi. I'm going to show you how to set up an, a robot animation. Simple palitation robot like this. What I have here is a robot built up in layers. And if you go to view pivot point, you will see that every part has a pivot point around the point there it should rotate. Uh, everything is also uh, parented in a particular order. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to send this robot over to layout. Here is the robot in layout. The first thing I'm going to do now is to make a null. It's the base of the whole set of. Uh, I don't really know why I have to do it, but to get to get um, uh, IK boost tool to work properly, it seems like I need to do it. So I'm going to open scene editor and as you can see here all this part is parenting. This is the robot part system and this one is going to be parented to base. The next thing to do now is go to my base null and go to modify IK boost tool. It seems like nothing happened, but it is. When I right click on this corner, I can apply a K booster. And then it looks like this. If I now try to, to move around this, everything is going to move. So I have to apply uh, certain rules and if I click here on the base uh, I can say IK stop and if you see here the IK motion is stopped there everything else is fixed but the robot is not moving the way I want it to do because it has several options to move so I have to uh, make uh, tell the robot where to bend and where to not to bend and if I right if I left click on this point and then right click on this zero you see here and I click and I click uh, lock here when I now start to move the robot you can see it only moves in this uh, particular direction. I have to do this for everything else on this robot. So now you can see the robot is just moving like I want. To make this animation simple, sorry, I have to move this away, it's disturbing. To make this animation very simple I'm going to um, stop some rotation. So this is a 6 degree of freedom robot but I'm going to yeah, go down to 5. So the rest is, is not going to, to be able to rotate. So now when I move should move just like the way I want. Yes, so now my robot is set up, I can move it and do things I want. I script the timeline and I say to the robot I want you to move here. And you can see my robot is moving. So if I 
here, tell the robot to, I want it to stay here. Like so. And after another second, 60 frames, I want it to be Before I go down, the robot likes to to hover over the place. And then you can see the robot is, is moving. After another second I want the robot to go down and pick up this Then, after another second, I want this to uh, lift up this, but, but the suction, uh, the gripper, this time it's a suction gripper needs to, to do some work. So I'm going to press enter and type in 120, this means that I have a keyframe on the same place. need some more frames so in here I want uh, this robot to pick up this little box what you want to hold it and the way to do that is to press M for motion option drag it in here and here we have something cal called parenting, parenter. The parenter uh, make you uh, a parent object by the timeline, so you can actually uh, take things on and off with the parenter. So when I click parenter, sorry, I need to go to. Move tool. Yeah, and then click parent and parent this one to my mount. I'm going to click out this. I don't know really know why it's happened, but it's it's moving a little bit when I do that. As you can see here, now this boxes is parenting to to this uh, to the robot. So I jumping another second in time I have to go to modification and go to uh, IK 
a boost tool to move this again. You are not uh, want to use this uh, move tool because it's destroying this uh, IK setup. So the robot is lifting up the boxes and I give it another 30 seconds to, to turn around and then Going to 250. 210. We are moving around to make this video short. I'm going to just put the boxes here on the some place. I'm not going to be very accurate about this. So I just put it there. Let it go another second, moving down. And now I need to go to move to, to uh, item move tool again and select the boxes. Press M for motion option. And again, we go in here to uh, parenting. And this time we are selecting. Um, the parent option and then click on parent and the, what's happened now is the box is not parented and again after uh, going to back to my IK boost tool and make some new uh, keyframe and I'm also going to 280 and just move the, the robot up so so we can see that it's release the button so if we now look at this animation it's should look like, like something like this you see here the robot is picking up these cases and moving it away. Um, you maybe notice some strange behavior that the robot is going beyond the, uh, the movement and then a little bit back. And the reason for this is uh, when we go to um, and to graph editor Let's see if you can get it small enough so it fits on the screen here and many of these uh, motion have been building this um, IK keyframe key and what you see here is that it's over reacting every time here so what you need to do here is right click and drag over and change from T-spline to linear. And you need to do this on every uh, keyframe here. If you do it before or, or that just doesn't matter that much. And it's going to remember this one so you can still work and you your animation and you don't have to do this more if you don't add more uh, add more keyframes of course and you need to, to do this so, uh, this is not so when I now 
now play the movie it should look like a little bit more like this yes I have to forget some point here but I hope you see the, the idea I hope this uh, movie was helpful and uh, I hope you click uh, like and uh, subscribe for more uh, tutorials so uh, thank you for now